What's going on? This is Ryan with Automatic Comics, and up next we are going to be going over the top 10 modern age key comics, which ones look like they might be good to start picking up right now, and which ones you want to avoid. Stay tuned. <music> So before we get started, please remember to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. So what are we doing here? We are going to be going over the top 10 key comics from the modern era, and I'm calling that 1992 until today. So it covers a huge span of time. We're over 30 years now of comic books that are considered modern. So in this video, I'm going to be going over 10 through 6. And then in a subsequent video, I'm going to be going over five through one that is going to be released on the Fanalytics channel. So if you're going to want to see all of these, make sure you check out the Fanalytics channel for numbers five through one. And I will also be going over the overview of all the books for that as well. And like I've done with these split videos in the past, I'm doing a giveaway as part of that. And so because it is starting to get close to Halloween, I, at least I'm seeing Halloween candy in the stores, I've given out two... Uh, Bronze Age horror books. We've got a couple nice copies, kind of the VF range of Weird Mystery 20 and Weird Mystery 16. Just some cool DC Bronze Age horror. Now, with that, for Fanalytics, they are working overtime right now to get that beta release completed and out the door and should be available within the next few weeks. So make sure to go and register for beta access either through the link that I'm going to provide in the description of this video or through the link that is on their Instagram page. Now, one other thing, if you are going to be going to the Collector's Summit show that's down in Dallas on November 4th and 5th, they're going to be giving away some great giveaways there as well. There are a few tickets left for that, so if you are considering going, make sure you go and get those tickets before they sell out. All right, now, so back to the matter at hand, these top 10 modern keys. For pricing, I did what I've done in prior videos as well. I looked at the most common grade for each one of these books, and because these are modern books, that is all going to be either a 9.6 or a 9.8. Then I looked at the trends of those books from 2015 to 2020, and then took the comic boom out of the picture. So when I say the comic boom, I mean those huge spikes in prices that we saw in 2021 and 2022. So I've been pretending that those price changes didn't happen. And what would the prices of these books look like today, assuming that those big spikes never occurred? Now, modern comics, I noticed as I was going through this, are a little bit trickier. And it's because with a lot of these books, I mean, some of them maybe came out in 2012, 2011, that kind of thing. They haven't had a lot of time to really find their place in the market. And so you see a lot more significant fluctuations in the prices of these books over the years. So you have to take that into account as well when you're pricing them. You can't necessarily use as much of that long-term data that you have with bronze, silver, copper age keys. So just something to consider when we're going through these books. So with that, let's get into number 10. All right, so here we are with number 10. If you haven't watched one of these videos before, I'll go over the standard information that I provide here on the screen. So we've got some basic CGC census data. I have the most common grade there. So in this case with Vengeance of Bane number one, I've got that 9.8, which is the most common grade. Then we've got the total number of copies on the census, the total universal copies. So that means blue labels. If you're uh, not as familiar with CGC, the books that haven't had a signature, haven't been restored, anything like that. Then I have the total number of copies in a 9.8 and the total number of universal copies in a 9.8. Then on the bottom there, I have some pricing information. We've got the current price. So that's what this book is going for today in that grade. Then we have the pre-boom annual return. This is the approximate annual return, and I use compound annual growth for this. For this book, for typically I use 2015 to 2020. So it's that five year period of time before the comic boom started to occur. Then using that, I take that price in 2020, apply that annual return and estimate what the price should be today. So I'm pretending that those huge spikes in prices that occurred in 2021 and 2022 didn't happen. And we've got this estimated price of what the book would be going for today, assuming that it's historical trend continued. So with that, let's get into this book. Here we've got number 10, Batman, Vengeance of Bane, number one. 
Now I picked this one because it's one of the few big major Batman villains, well-known villains that came in the modern era. So most of Batman's villains came from the golden age and to some extent into the silver age, but you do have this big Batman villain. He's already in two movies, you know, uh, that, uh, that occurred in the modern era. Now the most common grade is a 9.8. As you can see here, there are 1,470 blue label 9.8s. Total census, 5,196 copies with 4,675 universal copies. Now the current price for a 9.8 is $370. Had a record price of $1,000 thousand and seventy dollars in june of 2021 so just like everything else a lot of these modern books had those huge spikes in prices often that that single record price was just one outlier but still it is a sale that happened now from 2015 to 2020 this book went from around 175 dollars book to a 300 dollars book that is an annual return of 11 percent if we extend that price from 2020 until today we've got about a $410 book. So what that means is that with the current prices today at $370, it does appear that it is slightly undervalued, meaning that there is a potential 11% upside on this book, meaning that it's probably a pretty safe book to consider buying today. Now, the book has corrected 65% from that peak price of $1,070. That's on the higher end of what I've seen with a lot of these books that I've done over a large number of videos. So, so this book has corrected quite a bit from that peak sale and it really looks like it's been flattening out some. So I do think it's a good time to keep an eye on it. And hey, maybe you catch an auction, you catch it even lower than that $370 current price. All right, now let's move on to number nine. And so with number nine, we've got Detective Comics 880. Now this is a classic Jacques Joker cover. And I picked this one because to me, this is an extremely recognizable book from the modern age. And it's really unique because it's not a variant or anything like that. I didn't include any variants in this list, but it is still a book that is really a key for the cover. And that is something that just doesn't really happen in the modern era. That's really more of a golden age thing. So I thought that was really unique with this book. And so with this book here, most common grade is a 9.6. There are 2,772 copies on census with 2,286 universals. Now in that 9.6, there are 902 total copies with 753 universals. The current price for that 9.6 is $235. The record from 2020 was $550, but that was possibly a newsstand. It's hard to tell because it was a big outlier at that time. So I can't say for sure it's possible that that was a newsstand copy. Now the growth prior to the comic boom was 11%. Now for this one, I had to do 2017 to 2020 because when you run into these modern books, sometimes you have, like I said, books that are getting their footing and you might have some large fluctuations in price. And so I felt like I couldn't really use that data until the 2017 to 2020 period. And that is an 11% growth rate from that period. So if we extended that through the comic boom period, we end up at $376. Now with the current price at $235, that would imply a 60% upside. I don't know if I really believe that's the case here. Now I would be more cautious with this 60% number than I am with a lot of the silver and bronze and copper type books. With these more modern age books, you can't necessarily look at things in a vacuum like this. And if you look at the price of this one over the last 10 years, it has really fluctuated up and down. Now, regardless, I would say this book appears to be near a low point right now. So I do think it's pretty safe to buy. I don't think there's necessarily that big 60% upside, but I do think that the downside risk is very low on this book currently. All right, with that, let's move on to number eight. And this is when we start to get into what I think of as the more definitive big keys or well-known keys from the modern era. The first one here we've got is Invincible number one. First appearance of Invincible, first appearance of Omni-Man. He's become such a mainstream character now, especially thanks to Amazon Prime. This is also one of the books that got me back into comics. My friend loaned me uh, the Invincible series as well as Walking Dead. And 
I just, I love the storyline. And I, and he warned me with this one, you know, he's like, make sure you get through the first trade before you, you move past it. Uh, or if you decide to give it up because it just gets real crazy. And he, he is right it, at the start of it. It feels kind of like, I don't know, kind of like a teeny bopper type storyline. And then it gets real adult real quick. And it just hooked me from the start there. Now, the most common grade for Invincible number one is a 9.6. Total copies on census are 1,787 with 1,576 universals. In a 9.6, there are 534 with 471 universals. So because this is an image comic book, there are a lot less of these out there than you might see with Marvel and DC. And that's where you get these lower print numbers or, or lower census numbers. Now, the current price for 9.6 is $1,600. Record price was $2,500 in 2021. Now, prior to the comic boom from 2015 to 2020, this went from about a $275 book to a $600 book. That is a 17% growth rate, putting the current price at around $960. Now, the thing that should concern you maybe a bit if you've watched my videos before on this, 17% is very high. That's not something I normally see. Now, that's with silver and bronze age books. Modern books, when they're kind of, like I said before, getting their footing, maybe you see slightly higher returns at the beginning, but I wouldn't expect that to extend long-term. And even with that, you can see that we've got a 40% downside on this book right now. So I would be very, very cautious with Invincible One. Now, I know that a lot of people are excited about it, especially with the show and all that, but this is a book that has gone up considerably over the last few years and hasn't really come back down all that much yet. It could end up being like The Walking Dead and it retains these new high values. But if the Amazon series ends up only being a couple seasons, it could tank back down. It's just something where I think there's a lot of downside risk with this book right now, and I would be patient with it. All right, let's move on to number seven. So number seven, we've got Spider-Man here. We've got Amazing Spider-Man, number 361, First Appearance of Carnage. This is a book I always wanted as a kid and just could not afford it. It was too pricey. I had 362 and 363 and 360, but I never got 361 in my childhood collection. Now, the most common grade for this book is a 9.6. And man, there are a ton of these books on the census. Total number of books on census. 29,918 with 25,939 universals. And I'm guessing a huge percentage of those that aren't universals are signed. And so you, even though they're, they're not universal, they're still not restored or something like that. So a lot of universal copies or signed copies out there. Just in a 9.6, there are 10,365 total copies with 9,059 blue labels. So a ton of them out there. Now the current price for a 9.6 is $165. The record in 2021 was $800 for a 9.6. Now for the growth of this book prior to the comic boom, I looked at 2015 to 2019. And that's because it had a big spike in 2020, probably because of some announcement with Carnage in the Venom movie. So I didn't want to use that data. So I used 2015 to 2019, went from a $95 book to a $150 book. That is a 12% growth rate. If we apply that to that $150 price in 2019, that makes this a $210 book today. That implies there is a 27% upside. Now, this is one that I do feel like this book has overcorrected. I think that just out of the disappointment from the Venom movie and, and all of that, I think this book has overcorrected and I think is probably a pretty safe buy right now. This is an amazing Spider-Man key. This is a very popular character associated with Venom. I think that if you can get this book around $165, or I guess you could probably even catch it a little bit lower than that, it is a pretty safe book to buy right now. It's basically been flat for around eight to nine months right now, so I think the risk is very low. All right, now let's move on to number six. This is the last book from this video, and then you're going to head over to the Fanalytics channel to watch numbers five through one. Now this one, I was a little torn. I wanted to have a spawn book here. I thought about using Malibu Sun number 13, but it just doesn't have all that much sales data. That's where you have that, that first cover appearance or first 
drawn appearance of Spawn, but this is the first comic book appearance, first time you have him in a comic book. So I use Spawn number one, and yeah, it is a much more affordable book, but this is a major moment for comics in the modern era. Spawn has had an incredibly long run by one of the most popular artists in comics, so I feel like it had to be included here. And the most common grade for this book is a 9.8, and if you thought there were a lot of Amazing Spider-Man 361s, there are even more Spawn number ones. Total census is 31,572 with 23,659 blue labels. There are a ton of signed copies of this book. In a 9.8 alone, there are 15,359 copies with 10,939 universals. There are a ton of these books out there. There are a ton of raw books. There are a ton of graded books. They are just everywhere. Huge, huge print count for this book. Now, the current price for a 9.8 is $140. It had a peak sale in 2021 of $456. This book got pretty expensive considering how common it is. Now, for its growth prior to the comic boom, from 2015 to 2020, it went from about a $75 book to a $120 book. That is a 10% annual growth rate. If we apply that to that 2020 price, this book should be going for about $160 today. So again, another book that feels like maybe it has overcorrected, that you've got some potential upside if you're getting that book around that $140 price right now, and that it may correct back up to those higher prices. So then another book that if you've been waiting to pick up a copy, feels pretty safe to buy today. Now, if you'd like something a little more on the pricey side, you could look for the 9.8 newsstand. That is definitely a more rare book, one that is a, quite a bit more expensive. You could look for the air variant. There's one where it's missing the black ink on the cover. That is a very pricey book, especially in a 9.8. Or like I mentioned, the Malibu Sun 13. That is another book that you could look for. Definitely a much more expensive book and has a great spawn Cover. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to go over to the Fanalytics channel to watch the second part and check out issues number five through one, as well as the overview and where you'll have the chance to win these two books, Weird Mystery 16 and 20, uh, some, some nice Bronze Age horror comics. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, all that kind of stuff. If you'd like to see more videos like this, I've got more videos over here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, subscription button is right here, and I will see you in the next video.